No, she's the girls are gonna start with speeches. Okay, I just wanna let y'all know I am a bit nervous. But thank you for everyone that came to support us, uh, me and my teammates. Um, I just wanna say a huge thank you to my mom, first and foremost, because, uh, sorry, I'm really nervous. <laughs> my mom, I never thought I was gonna make cheer my first year, I never thought I was gonna make assistant captain my second year. Sorry, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I never thought I was gonna make cheer captain my last year, and I didn't think I was gonna make NCA. Oh my god, I'm crying. <laughs> Put on. <laughs> okay, sorry. And she was always there telling me to never doubt myself, and sorry. <laughs> and I made it every year, <laughs> so thank you for that, Mom. I'm really emotional, just letting you know. Um, I'd like to thank all my family for always supporting me. Um, my cheer coaches, Alex and Miss Jen, thank you so much for all you do. I know you work really hard to help us uh, be the best we can at competitions, at um, pep rallies, cheer rallies, literally everything. They're always there for us, 100%. Um, I wanna thank my cheer squad. Thank you for always being there. All the memories you make are so awesome and I'll cherish them forever. Um, I wanna thank my best friend, of course, Front Row Center. <laughs> Aubrey, I don't know where you are. Thank you for always being a good BFF. Also, my seniors, thank you for always believing in me and making me who I am today. Without my friends, I literally don't know what I would do. I literally tell them everything and they know all the ups and downs that we've been through, it's crazy. And I wanna thank Austin, who's taking pictures over there, for always just helping me, being literally the best support system ever with school, not even just cheer, everything. And I wanna thank our principals, because I know y'all work so hard, Miss Herrera. And yeah, I think that's it. Thank you, everyone. cheer practices since I was like three years old I started cheer and I couldn't I remember going to the games and looking at the cheerleaders and saying I can't wait till I'm there and then junior high came around and I would go to every mini camp Miss Jane was even the coach when I was a mini camper and then I went to high school and I was the one teaching the mini campers which is crazy and I just want to thank the parents, all the cheer moms, because they're so extra. They're doing everything for us and Miss Jen and all our camps and everything we ever had. The parents were our only biggest supporters, of course, with Miss Jen. And thank you for Miss Jen for being the best coach and Alex for fighting, always fighting to get the same rights as every other um, sport there is. And we just did it and now we're here and just Thank you to all y'all and my teammates for always having to pick our heads up even in hard times. And this year was very hard, not being able to go to competition or being able to go to camp, but it was still a great year. And I can't wait to see y'all next year cheering. I will be there at the games. <laughs>
opportunity and then came junior year, my friends inspired me to do cheer. Never would I have thought. I'm here today about to do college cheer. I want to thank everyone for just supporting me, being there with every choice I made. I want to thank my coaches, my peers, every other mom out there, the cheer team. We're always being supportive. I love y'all. <laughs> and I really miss y'all. Thank you. <laughs> everyone that came here today just to support um, all the seniors to come here to do our signing. I want to thank every single supporter that I had. My mom, Miss Jen, Coach Alex, you know, my brother Justin, my dad, James of course, dealing with me all the time. Um, and I also want to thank all of my teammates, you know, always like supporting us, always being there for us, even throughout the year that we always like had, you know, this year is not really the best year ever, but they try to make it the best year as they can. And I want to thank like everyone just like supporting me out this year because this has been a, it's been a really rough year. It's been a really rough year for everyone, and it's just been really tough with everything going on, especially with COVID nineteen. Um, had a really really rough year with with my um, grandpa passing away. And it's been really tough, but I thought I was going to do cheer in college. My mom said, but my mom inspired me to do the most as I can, to be the best as I can, to be the best as I can be. And I want to thank you so much for being the biggest cheerleader that has ever been here for me. Love you, Kitty. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I guess I'll continue on. <laughs> um, so thank you for everyone for coming out today and being here for the girls as they continue on with their cheer career. Um, as they've all said, they've been cheering for a while and not for a while, and they're here. Um, they brought the greatest leadership that we probably had in a long time. Uh, they never stopped, literally. Like they pushed us, they pushed me, they pushed all of us to be the best that we could be this year, given all the circumstances that were thrown at us, um, literally all the time. <laughs> um, so thank you all for everything that you've done to help me be a better coach as well. Because what you all, without you all, I could not have learned more about myself and about this sport and about our team without you all pushing yourself and pushing myself and pushing your team more than what there are today. And we are a better team because of you all. Not just you four, but Aubrey and Mickey too, where we all are at somewhere here. So thank you seniors for everything that you've done for our sport. So as they kind of mentioned, like that's always been a little argument is cheer is not a sport, but it is part of the Olympics, so like kind of considered a sport. <laughs> and it'll be a never any argument, but that's the beauty of our sport, is we're supposed to make it look easy, look fun, look cute, look happy. At the same time, you're lifting up somebody in the air, literally flipping them in the air, <laughs> they mean. Um, and you're nonstop for three minutes with a routine that you cannot throw in a substitution, or it's like going a full court press, literally, in the competition. You're exhausted, at the same time you're cheering, smiling, showing facials, like you're so excited to be throwing them in the air and hoping to catch them. That's what our sport is about, and you all have been so successful at doing that. So thank you for that also. Um, so I guess I'll talk about each one before they sign their commitment to it. So Jeannie, <laughs> as she said, she was a Larry Beth when she was little, mini camps and stuff, where I was a Larry Beth also. I wasn't even a cheerleader. Um, and so I watched her grow up, and I think my mom was actually your teacher, because she would talk about you all the time. Um, and yes, you were the first lieutenant as a freshman, and then she didn't do it her, junior, her sophomore year, and then her junior year she signed up, and I thought it was kind of a joke. Like, why are you signing up for cheer when you're there? You're like our kicker girl, and her jump split. And here she is, our flipper girl. She literally, her first year came in, like, Miss Jen, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. Um, and then Coach Alex came, I want you to flip and do, I don't know what it was, do like five hips to the front. <laughs> yeah, it's like, just throw me, just throw me, I got it, I got it. And she literally just did whatever she had to do to get it done. 
so thank you because we had lost like a good flyer that year and Aideen like popped up out of nowhere to, like <laughs> magic treasure literally. so thank you for an awesome two years <laughs> <laughs> I literally brought her up at our practice on Monday when we were stunting and I said the worst thing you can do is not ask questions because you're literally holding someone's life in your hands. And that was Haley. She asked every single question you can think of. And we would say something or Coach Alex would give an instruction and we would just wait for Haley to ask the question. <laughs> um, as she said, when I was in high school, when I was little, I actually looked up to your mom, Andrea, as a lariat officer. And then I became a lariat officer and she would not leave my side at mini camp, which was kind of <laughs> crazy. And now you do mini camp as a little girl. So it kind of was like, it's crazy how like a full circle just happened there. Um, Haley started as a flyer. She became a back spot, she became a base. She was the other one, just tell me what to do, Michelle, I'm ready, I know I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. <laughs> and she did it. So she's done everything and I know this year was kind of a struggle year up and down, um, but you always show commitment to us, to your squad to yourself, and to your Braxton, wherever you live, <laughs> um, But like I said, Haley was an awesome leader, um, pusher, she would encourage everyone throughout um, our practices and say, you can do it, you can do it, and then she would just cheer out of nowhere. Um, she was always smiling, I don't know if you, I mean, this year was kind of hard to see with the mask, but she was always our smiler and telling everybody, Miss Jen, you need time to smile. <laughs> she would notice that, so thank you, Haley. <laughs> Um, I didn't really know you until Miss Pierce came to me asking, um, what is, hi John, I need to know for cheer, because you're trying out for junior high cheer. Yeah. So Miss Pierce showed me a video, and I didn't even know where to correct you, because you were already good. Your jumps were already amazing, and I think I just told you to just work on your motions and spirit, because I didn't know where to correct you, because you were that. already so great at it. Um, you've come a long way from your start. Your leadership has gone amazing, has come up on amazing skills. Uh, she was our motivator, are literally you can do it guys you can do it like every stun group that would go up and i would throw random stun groups with each other and so that's what she would do um she was always there for the team throughout everything that happened within our team this year because it was a crazy year and she was there with the team the entire time so i'm forever grateful for you never giving up on your team thank you i miss shayla so shayla my mom had her in first grade also, and my mom would tell me, Jen, there's this girl, Shayla, and she could like jump and do all this stuff. I'm like, okay, mom. And I wasn't the cheer coach at the time. I was like, okay, cool. And then she came to junior high, and like most coaches, you kind of see what you're gonna get. And I was like, I cannot wait for Shayla to get here. I could not wait. And then she moved to Corpus like two weeks before trial. <laughs> I think I cried that day, because I was waiting for her forever to get to high school cheer. And she finally came here, and it's what we needed. We needed a little boost of, an all-star life of what we could become and what we needed to become and what we have become. Um, she showed us tricks that we didn't know. Again, I am not a, wasn't a cheerleader, I was a lawyer yet. So I didn't know about the all-star stuff and she like taught me stuff that I didn't even know about cheer. Um, she's pushed me because she would tell me, hey, Ms. Jen, check this out. I'm like, okay, so I had to do my research to learn more to help them to become the squad that she wanted them to be. Um, and then whenever trials was coming, both of you two were nervous wreck, and I told you all just breathe, you'll be fine, you got this. And you all are just, this is what you were meant to do, and I think I told you over the weekend. She had, in case y'all didn't know, um, first of all, let me rewind. NCA is called the National Association, or Cheer Association. Um, it is the elite program that teaches us. So that's the count, these are the people we go to to learn our material, to learn our techniques, our stunts, and everything. So Shayla has kind of jumped a whole level. So hopefully we can go to camp this year and hopefully we'll see Shayla there teaching us more and actually in blue and red and white. Um, so it's not a college, it's an act, she's an employee. This is her job and what she'll do 24 seven because they get called out to camps, competitions, the judge, um, they'll judge tryouts. She can't judge us, sorry guys. Um, <laughs> but she will get called out to do a lot of stuff. So that's what NCA is. So she kind of jumped called collegiate and went to NCA which is an amazing opportunity. It, she can travel the whole nation, national, you know. She can travel everywhere, and I'm so glad you continued throughout it, and I know you were nervous the whole time, and I kept telling you and your mom, she has it, you're fine, 
you got it, relax. And I would text Coach Alex, you know, like, am I telling the right thing? Alex, are you sure? And Coach Alex would say, yeah, like, I don't know what else to do with her because she's already there. Um, and so this weekend she did go to her first, I guess, job or training. Yeah. It's a good training. Um, and so I was nervous for her, even though I wasn't there. And I'm sure Crystal, her mom, was nervous too. And so I just kept in contact with her the weekend. And as you squad, you know, it's when you stunt, it's hard. When you're with a new group, and we just found out on Monday when we had our new squad, it's a new group. So think about being by yourself with people you don't really know and you're having to trust them to lift the person in the air. So that's scary. And I think that's probably the hardest thing for Shayla, which she overcame already, is just being with new people that you don't know and um, showing them her skills and showing us her skills. So hopefully we'll see her this summer at camp. Um, but congratulations, and I'm so proud of y'all, and I'm so proud of all y'all. And thank you, like I said, for making me a better coach and making our team a better team. Um, and I've only been to one hoggy game, so that's not my school, so I think I'll start going to the games now <laughs> to see y'all, because I've never really been to hoggy games, guys. I'm sorry, I know I live here. Um, and Shayla, I hope I see you at camp. Competition. So thanks, guys. Congrats. Um, parents, if you want to sit with them while we sit down. Do you each have their letter of intent? Um, Shayla is an employee because she's an employee. She's not a student there. Um, I don't know, Coach Mercedes, you want to say? I just want, real quick want to congratulate you all. Uh, we're proud of you guys. Uh, you know, advancing your career beyond high school is a big deal. Uh, it's impressive. It's something you should be proud of, and it's a great accomplishment. And I know you all got emotional, but it's okay to be emotional because it's your passion, it's something you care about. And uh, so don't ever be afraid to show your emotion when it's something you truly believe in. I mean, we're proud of you guys work hard. Y'all work extremely hard and we're appreciative of all of you that make athletics what it is and makes, make the games what they are because without cheer and lariats and the band, I mean, we've seen it, we had to deal with it. It's pretty boring, so. Um, <laughs> You know, thank you all. Thank you for everyone showing up to support these young ladies. Thank you for everyone that's helped set up the staff, everyone that's here, board members, administrators. You know, this is a it's a big deal. It's an awesome thing, and it's many years to come here in Fowl. Uh, but we're proud of you guys. You know, we love you. We care about you. Stay in touch. You know, I graduated from Tamu, so I'll be at the games. I'm not a hater, so I'll be there. And we'll be excited to see what you do, and it's it's a big accomplishment. You know, and like you said earlier, it's a it's a myth that cheer is not a sport it's actually a UIL sport um, so it is a sport and you have to be an athlete to do what y'all do um, and I want to thank Ms. Jen and the other and the other coaches and everyone that's involved and I've been around a lot of cheer coaches and quite a few cheer coaches and I don't know if I've seen one that's been as dedicated as Miss Jen is to you guys y'all are very blessed to have her because not only is she dedicated and works hard for you and sacrifices so much you know she has a little one I know how it is with with young ones but she's really good at building those relationships and to me that's the biggest factor and so that's props to you and you know and everything you do and you know everyone that's out here to support you you know we love you guys we're proud of you and you know we'll be keeping an eye on y'all cheering you on still and hopefully you're still cheering us on because Fowl's a great place to be it's a great community and we're going to keep doing big things here you know we've got a big plan for all of us so we're just going to keep rocking and rolling all right And like Shayla said, you know, kind of keeping track. Um, I just want to say great job, ladies, because all the multitasking that you did throughout your high school career and you're here now, associate's degrees, getting into the medical field, you girls have done an awesome job. I just want to say if you heard all the accomplishments that each of these girls had done, you'd be so impressed. So great job, ladies. And all the multitasking, getting academic excellence in your classes. I have top 10 here. I have associate's degrees. I have medical, people in the medical field here. Great job. Uh, that's one. Two, I have to tell you about sports. That is the biggest myth. And I'm going to tell you. My daughter, all-star athlete. Regional qualifier for cross country. Regional qualifier for uh, 800 in, the tra in track. Um, MVP basketball for her district. That was with West Oso, MVP player. Uh, what else? Soccer, she plays collegiate soccer. And she did cheer for one year. And she said, that is too hard for me. 
She literally said that. So kudos, ladies, because you know what? That topped it all. Cheer is a big sport. Great job, ladies. I'm so proud of you. Parents, if you want to sit with your girls, and that way, while they, while they sign, we can take a picture um, to have it for the yearbook and for your records and for your memories. So again, Shayla's is to um, her contract for NCA. Again, it's not a college, but it is a job that is year round, just like here. Congratulations, Shay. Woo! <laughs> Shay! So as Ms. Adetta said, Shayla graduated with her associates already, so she's kind of already done college cheer because she's been cheering in high school and doing college work <laughs> and high school work and everything else in between. Thank you. And then Ms. Catherine. So Catherine too has pretty much done college cheer also because she's been taking her classes and cheering and sports and theater and everything else in between. She asked for the time. <laughs> oh, it did? Yeah, I think she, the coach put the time on there. <laughs> and Ms. Haley also graduated with her associates, so she's also been somewhat doing cheer, college cheer. And all these girls also work, but I did not add that to their speeches, but all these girls work, take college classes and other activities besides cheer and help out at their home too, so they do a lot. And they manage everything and were successful at everything also. 1109. Always remember a picture. You got it? You got it? dancer and cheerleader. <laughs> practice time but it's to allow your daughters to do everything else that they're in so thank you for pushing your child to do the best and continue on with their education as well as their sport that they love so thank you for everything you did for not just the team or for myself but for your girls so thank you and thank you for the
there's food, thanks to all the moms again who did extra, as Katie said, and there's food for everybody um, here after pictures and things like that. So thank you all very much for coming out.